I'm still so confused. I who won and who lost? This was a roller coaster which was changing with every ball. At 14 for four, one would ima imagine that uh, Mumbai would have uh, won this easily. But Punjab yet again so close, but so far they've uh, taken it to the 19th over. But Mumbai win by nine runs. Uh, yet another uh, nail-biting finish because it's gone into the final over. Welcome Gilly and Harsha. I can't, yeah. my heart rate's just going up and up because I thought, you know, this was going to be Mumbai. You kept saying it's not over, it's not over. You kept yeah. telling me. I think, I think we've just got to clap for them, man. I, I thought this was sensational from Punjab. Who comes back from 14 for four? And you're, you're not, there's not a lot of experience there, mm -hmm. but those two pals of mine, they said that over Ramadin and Valentine, we've got to start creating a song for Shashank and uh, Ashutosh. Ashutosh. And they, Ashutosh is some player. Well, yesterday, I just thought Jinky he played said, it so well. Let's play yeah. that Bumrah over. Just played it out. Talk. Mm. It, it wasn't there. I think Mumbai will, if they look at it pragmatically, will say this, we were very, very lucky today. Well, uh, Gilly, we saw that they didn't really celebrate at all mm. because they wouldn't. I mean, yes, it's a win, it's two points, and they're happy that they've got these two points in. But from 14 for four to take it so close, that's not what a team really wants at this point in the tournament. No, that's right. I mean, you could see at the end there the amount of, I don't know how many captains were on the field, you know, whether it's all well, this discussion whether it should be Rahul or Hardy. There was about five, 15 on there, I think. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they looked panicked, they looked rattled, didn't they? But, but I mean, at the end of the day, they got the two points. You kept saying, oh, this is going to be an early night and, you know, that's what one would a expect. A good bowling side from there, they're thinking net run rate at 14 for four. Yes. Saying we're right at the bottom, we not only get our two points, we should be looking to up our net run rate because it could come down to that. But where? I mean, I'll tell you, whatever happens to Punjab, I don't know if they'll qualify, they won't qualify. But at the end of the tournament, we should all applaud them for finding us Ashutosh and Shashank. They've been around, but they've got a platform here. You know, Ashutosh Sharma, we have to chat about him because it was snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. He mm. almost did it again. The strike rate, 217. He'll be really upset that he couldn't take that team through. With He went for that six. He played Bumrah out very well. Maybe if only he had waited another three, four balls. Yeah, it's hard to be critical, isn't it? Because he was he was looking so calm and composed mm -hmm. and well and calculated in his approaches. I mean, the the boomer no ball option, the free hit option to get down and do what he did there and get it for oh. six. Um, yeah, what a what a find! What a wonderful talent! Uh, and I guess. In, in listening to you talk about the Mumbai bowling, just there, I, I'm trying to think, yeah, not, not disagreeing, but are we being too critical on them and not paying enough credit to Ashutosh? True, uh, fair enough. What he did. Yes. And that scorecard, the Punjab batting card, again, just glancing at that, talk about a tale that's repeating itself over and over mm. again. I mean, we've seen Mumbai look panicked with ball in hand a number of times, but so too this batting lineup. That's just. Just history repeating itself, isn't it? Overseas batters failing, top order failing, middle order struggling, but then the two same two names there that just give it some sort yes. of impetus and give them any remote chance of hope. And uh, whilst ever there's life, there's a bit of hope until that final uh, uh, end last week at run out, where even then we mm. thought, is it if it's not out, there's still a really good chance yes. of winning. So. Um, yeah, they got a lot to think about too. It's not just about the Mumbai team stumbling. It's about a few um, hurdles that the um, King uh, keep saying Kings Eleven Punjab Kings have to have to come to terms with. Yeah, just a little more on Shashank because, like uh, Gilly is saying, it's just those two who have taken them through sometimes across the finish line and sometimes not. But both of them, uncapped players. Nobody really knew about them before this IPL. They've been around for very long. They've gone through a lot of downs and then to show this character. You know, there's this journalist, I'm trying to remember his name, Ame Oak or something like that. For the last okay. one and a half years, he's been sending me emails and you get a lot of emails, so you don't look that carefully. He said, sir, there is one Ashutosh Sharma, you please watch out for him, he'll be very good. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah. First of all, there's a few people with that name floating around. So I, And no one knew, in all fairness, if anybody can stand up here and say, you know what, I knew Ashutosh Sharma was your being wise after the event. But he is some talent. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that not because he 
he wasn't just slogging. Yes. He was playing good cricket. He was playing sensible cricket. I mean, he hit one six there. Mm. Was it a four or six? He, he hit one there. He hit one there. And what about those Surya sixes that he hit? Yes. Yeah. He's, he's, I mean, in that dressing room, they'll all be looking at each other and saying, could we have done a little bit more today and yesterday and day before? Mm. Every game is these two.